Father, in the same way. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, the Tower of Ages, everlasting of glory, the hand and the hand, the beginning and the end. Father, Lord, we glorify you. For witness this very day, for Sunday in the year of 2021. Father, we say thank you, O Lord. Be thy say in our life, O Lord. Father, Lord, we return glory back to you, O Lord. Father, Lord, accept our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. We commit this year for service in your name, O Lord. Father, Lord, go with us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, be half and omega of today's service, O Lord. Father, Lord, descend mightily amid today's service, O Lord. Father, Lord, we want to see you in today's service, O Lord. Father, Lord, do this and make for us in today's service, O Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We declare this service open in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Let us all remain standing while we start today's Thanksgiving service by singing and opening him.
Let's give this very moment to God before the Lord. We ask God for the forgiveness of our sins. Who we committed no man of glory. Who we cannot be part of our movement in our service of today. Who can not make our prayer to be holy and acceptable before God Almighty. Who we committed as an individual. Who we committed as an household. Sin committed as a church. Sin that I want to stand against our prayer in today's service. Let us ask God in His infinite mercy to cleanse all our iniquities and bless us mightily in today's service. Bible is blessed are those whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Because we need God blessing in our life in this service and many more services that we'll be doing. Let's ask God in His infinite mercy to cover our sins and forgive us all our iniquities. For in Jesus' precious name, we pray. Please, with number heart, recite this psalm after me. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Out of this house I we cry unto thee. O oh Lord, Lord, hear our voice. Let their head be attentive to the voice of our supplications. If thou, Lord, should mark iniquities, O oh Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou may be feared. We wait for the Lord. Our soul doth wait, and in his word do we hope. I was so waited for the Lord. More than day that was for the morning. We say more than day that was for the morning. Let this church hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenty of redemption. And it shall redeem us from all our iniquities. Glory be to the Father, to the Son. And to the Holy Spirit. The Lord reigned. Let the people tremble. He is seated between the children. Let the heart be moved. The Lord is great in Zion, and he is high above all the people. Let them praise thy great and terrible name, for it is holy. The king's reign also loved judgment. Thou dost establish equity. Thou a secret judgment and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt ye the Lord our God, and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron, among his priests, and Samuel, among them that call upon his name, they call upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spake unto them in a cloudy pillar. They kept his testimonies and the ordinance that he gave them. Thou answered them, O Lord our God, thou was a God that forgiveth them. Though thou tookest vengeance of their inventions, exalt the Lord our God, and worship at his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The heart is the Lord, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein, for he have founded it upon the seas, and establish it upon the floods. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that has a clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive blessing from the Lord, and righteousness for God of his salvation. This is generation of them that are seeking, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gate, and be lift up, the everlasting dust, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your ears, O ye gate. If you lift them up, ye everlasting dust. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts is the king of glory. Glory be to the Father.
eje ke agbadura ni oruko jesu ni oruko jesu ni agbara eje jesu apata yera ye bi sadiwa awa marije olodumare eru je ti o ku pa agbioga nitori ko se nitori ti anu re duro lai lai awa na tun ni waju re o o mu wa la oju 2020 ja atun wa ti waju re for sunday in the year of 2021 in the month of january in the first week of the month olorun ma je ma agbioga aso ko se adagugu ogo ati ola ati eyan pada si ojo re a fi ogo re fun eniyan o iwo la fi ogo fun olorun tin gbe inu male gba ope wa ibere opin ati aye wa gbe yin wa adagugu ogo ati ola ta si ojo re olorun tin gbe inu male gba ope wa awa bi be fun jari je ese gogo ona ta ti gba ta ti se si ogo mimo re ta ti gba ta ti se si wa mimo re olorun tin gbe inu male ni se ese yi ta ti e mo mo da ni yi ta ti e mo pa da ni ese ran duna ni ese ori kokan ni ese ti gege ese ori bi dile ni ese jo lapapo ni ani se to le fe fa ibiwo tabi de lori ise sin wa ni ojo ti oni to le mo fe ki ise sin wa ko se mimo ko se tewo gba ni wa ru re olorun tin gbe inu male fa nu da ji wa ese baba ikoko olorun ma je fa nu da riji wa ese asin o to ni oluwa fa nu da riji wa ese anigbagbonu re to ni oluwa fa nu da riji wa gogo ona ta ti gba se si olorun ma je fun o da riji wa gogo ona to le gogo ese to lo mi je ki se sin wa ojo ti oni ko se mimo ko se tewo gba ni waju wa olodumare olorun tin gbe ni mo le fa no da riwa a e be fun iya si mimo duwa ya wa si mimo lero ni wa ni se oluwa so wa di mimo igun mere rin le se sin oluwa ya si mimo gogo on ta se ni ojo ti oni lati bi gogo re ga oluwa je ko je mimo a be fun so kale awon ogo ran ma like kan ba ni se sin ti si fi se itewo gba olu olorun ma je me so won kale awon ma like tan ba ni se sin tan gbe sin goke to wo olorun loju me lo olu e so won kale a be fun ogo re oluwa so ogo re kale gege bo se se ni gba solomon to go re to ku sin na go olorun ma je mu so ogo re kale a fe ri o ninu se se ojo ti oni ni se se alakoko ni osu 2021 oluwa so ogo re kale olorun ma je ba wa se sin se ojo ti o bi di half an o me ga lorun ma je mu je bere ko je opin da gugu ogo eleda ja layo ja le ma yo nitori pa agbadura ni oruko mo nikan so jesu christi oluwa wa ajura oluwa towo towo Oluwa Olorun ase oba tin fi ase soro ase latori te Oluwa fi de ajura wa lade gbogbo ede ajura wa ni ojo ti oni ase oro Oluwa fi de lade je ala yo je kale ma yan nitori pa agbara ni oruko mo re nikan so Jesu Christi agbara wa Hallelujah Oh sana salvation Let us all remain standing while we continue today's Thanksgiving service by singing uh, a Thanksgiving hymn, hymn 83.
This is the first Sunday of the new year. A lot of people happened from the last day of the year. In that last minute before we transitioned to the new year, they were no more. But here we are in the first Sunday of the new year, alive, hale, and healthy. We're all standing on our own two feet. Nobody's helping us to stand up. Let us remember this as we praise the King of Kings. Amen? Amen. Let's start off with this.
Traffic, traffic of fuck uh, him. Two, three, to me.
and all that is in within me. Blessed is the holy name. Let us bless the Lord with all our soul. Because He is the one that is doing it. And I know the and I know the grace that we used to cross over 2021. 2020 is going to give us that great cross over 2021. Let's keep praising the Lord. We cannot give him anything than our presence. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Let us bless him. Let us say thank you to him. Let us say thank you, Baba. He did not see us as sinners or anything, but he loved us. The, the Bible says he gave his only begotten son to come and die for us so that we will see lots of benefits of the Lord. Let us bless the Lord with all our might, with everything within us. Let us say thank you, Lord. Let us say thank you, Lord. Because it is not our deed that we are alive right now. It is not all the mask we are using or the I, I, sanitizer we are using, but it is the grace of God. Let us bless him. Bless him. For everything you want for this 2021, bless the Lord. For the victory he has given us, let us bless him. For the hammer of fire that he has, that he has put on us, and has encamped us, let us bless him. Let us bless him because he's our rock of salvation. Let us bless him because he's our fortress. Let us bless him because he's our rescuer. He rescued us from all this trouble, for all these calamities. Let us say thank you, Lord. Let's bless him. We don't have anything to give to him today than to say thank you, Jesus. Joseph, uh, Joseph blessed the Lord. He praised the Lord. And God gave him victory. Let us bless the Lord. Because we are more than conqueror. He has given us victory all over. He, he gave every, every one of us in this church. Right now, he gave us victory. Our family, he gave us victory. Even he extended it to our family that even they don't know the name of the Lord. Because of what he gave every one of us, he gave us victory. Let us bless the Lord. Even the United States of America, he gave this state, he gave, he, he gave, he gave this country victory. It is because of us. Let us praise the Lord for what he's doing, for what he has done, for what he's going to do. Who forgive all thy iniquities? Who heal all thy, thy diseases? Who redeem our life from destruction? Who cram thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfy our mouth with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagle? Father Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you for what we are doing. Alone we show, alone we show, alone to the hour. Okay, I need a feet of a waffle. Alone, to the hour. Okay, I Oh, 
We say thank you. We say thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We don't know what to say than to say thank you. Father, Lord, we say thank you. Oh Lord, we mama share oh Jesus. O ko to loro ti le ti famu. Tu mo ni no anu i e ni da wa si e da wa si tomo tomo e da wa si ti le ti le. Eh, jaki mo ti chon tu wa ba. Thank you, Jesus. Eh, jaki ba nu je ku wonu le wa. Hey, Jackie, are you going to share your work? One bash will grow. One will see church. Uru konyo disoro disi. Olorun eri awo woli agbeyin ga babe wa gbo pe wa. Amen. Adupe ni bi te ti mere. Adupe ni bi te ba. Thank you, Jesus. Adupe ni bi te yon Olorun mu wa lo. Olorun e ma se o. Oba to to bi ti to bi o se sakawe. Oba to fun wa yo sinu aye wa. Di be di solo wolu wa u o la ni o mi pupo lo ru o kon son ara olu wo o wo lu wa faji ke dare ba oni o fa ya o mo lu wa je ki igbo didi o je ko won o mo olorun ni oro olorun oro olorun ni jesu christi adupe pe iwo olorun wa laarin wa olorun e lo e wa gbo pe wa di be di solo wo tu olorun la gbega owo tu olorun ni se ohun la agbe yin olorun nitori pe owo tun yin o wa ninu aye wa o wa ninu ijo wa o wa ni gbogbo irin wa olorun ai lo pe e wa gbo pe e wa adupe pe e se o adupe pe e se o awon omo wa wa laye ati ni alaafia jesus christi ibi ti won ri si awa ko mo sugbon abo yin wa ni ori won olorun ai lo pe e wa gbo pe e wa oba to fi didi to fi sa ni si wa lara o so ninu iwe ninu iwe revelation oni wo yo fe didi sami si awon titi yin ni ara angeli a pa ni run o fe pa gbogbo re run sugbon tun wa angeli ni wo ni ko duro nitori pe fe fe ti si awon titi yin lara adupe pe e ka wa ma awon ti wo yo fe didi si ni ara e didi wa ni eje jesus christ eje ki eje yin ko gbogbo wa mule buburu ko ko de ko 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 de nu le wa wo ro yin so pa awon ma oju wa ri ni we so many things Many calamities we pass through it. Father Lord, we say thank you. Olorun e se o edidi wa agbeyiga. Olorun e wa ayiyin logo. Nitori pe eyin fi titobo yin won. Baba e wa gbo pe e wa. Baba e wa gba yin. Olorun e se o. Olorun e se o. Fun anu ta wa ri gba ni ojujumo adupe. Fun ori ofe yin to popo to popo ninu aye wa adupe. Ati je ati mu e je ko le mo wa lara. Awa ko gbe gba gba akiri. Olorun e ma se o. Jesus Christ o mo Olorun. Ninu ni calamities 2020 2020. Eyin da wa lola. E ra mo to fun wa. Awon to bi mo bo awon alaboyin won mo biti biti re. Olorun e se won Olorun. Awon lo lati inu ogo sinu ogo. E je ko su wa. E je ko re wa. Olorun kerubo Olorun seraph wa gbe yin ga ba be gbo e wa. Olorun mo sori mo lade aso pe o se ni to dabi yin Jesu Kristi omo Olorun a yin yin logo e wa gba yin wa baba mi ati Olorun mi a wa du gege bi ijo Olorun nitori pe nigbati nu adupe eyin da ma je mu ayo fun e fi osumare e fi ye ka Olorun e so pe eko bi fo mi pa aye re mo nitori opeta wa mu wa gege bi ile ka okan gege bi ijo Olorun mo bebe wa ka ti e wa da ma je mu ayo fun Olorun ani ma je o keni keni o le ri idi re mo bebe wa ka ti e wa da fun wa olorun e wa pa wa mo olorun ti a se ma ma rin ninu odun yin emi mimo abebe esu ajo ogun wa agbe yin ga nitori pe ti gbo ni orupo jesu christi oluwa shout hallelujah shout hallelujah I want us to pray for some people. I have a prayer request. Please, if you have your own business, just raise up your hand. Wherever you are, if you have your own business, the whole church, we shall raise our voice and thank God for all everyone who have their own personal business in this church. A lot of businesses were closed down, but none of our members' business closed down. Instead, contract upon contract, mass upon mass, 
Father, thank God for all those who have their businesses that the Lord come to increase their businesses. Their businesses was not locked up. Oh, Father, I just want to thank you. On behalf of these men and women who have their own personal businesses, because their enterprises continue to increase, ah, glorify to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, I lift our thanks, Lord. If you are working in, if you are a doctor or a nurse, or you work with patients, please raise up your hand. If you are working with patients, whether you are in any field, whether you are a sitter, whatever it is, raise up your hand. We are going to thank God. We are going to thank God. A lot of doctors have died. Nurses have died. But we have people in this church who continue to take care of even COVID patients. My godly daughter, who takes care of people who want to have babies, she called me that one of the women going to have, birth have COVID. And to her, be my only COVID. But the doctor, she needs someone You get near all these people. So raise up your hand, please. Am I feeling all right? We are going to thank God on behalf of all those, all these people who are, who are, they cannot afford not to see a COVID person. They go to the hospital. Oh! Oh! So if you are one of those, lift up your hand. Church, let's thank God on their behalf. They are members. If something has happened to them, we will not be here. Let's thank God. Let's thank God. It is not silent prayer. Okay, last so. Hey. We are going to thank God. Those who are taking care of sick people, they have to go to the hospital. They have to go to the nursing home. They can, there's nothing they can, not, they can do. Oh, Father, on behalf of this, on behalf of all these people who works in the hospital, nursing home, who are sitters, whatever they might be, they cannot run, they cannot run away from their job. Hey, you did not let them catch this. We are not even going to mention it your names. You protected them. Father, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Already we have been warned in this church that this year, People have to pray. Please, I'm begging you. Please, I'm begging you. You are going to help me pray. A lot of members of, of, of this church caught, they were positive of COVID-19. That you know it or not, they will tell me, I know. But God saw them through. So we are going to thank God. Amen. Mother Shogba, I know that you didn't know how to pray, but this is just my own pastor prayer. Jesus did the same thing on John 17. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray. Where is our next prayer? Church, what did I say is our next prayer? What, what did I say? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise, pray, 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 praise the Lord. Pray, 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 praise the Lord. You are going to raise your voice. 
we have elderly people. When this thing first started, it started with older people, older generation. We have older people who are above 16 in place. Really, throughout this month, I want to be doing the prayer, but I just want to say it. We are going to thank God for our older people. It's almost time we have to stop. So a couple of prayers. We're going to thank God for our elderly people, including myself. And those of you who have elderly people, whether in Nigeria or anywhere, we are going to thank God also for the food, those who are sick. Even nowadays, people cannot go to the hospital even if they're sick. They turn them back home. So we are going to thank God on behalf of those two people. Let's turn into prayer. Prayer, please. Open your mouth. Say, go on, so okay. Only work. Oh, yeah, come to my house. I come to prayer. Become a bad. Do that. Because the Lord has been good unto us in this place. Oh, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Need of service. I share. Oh, seal of heaven. Seal and power of prayer. For in Jesus' precious name we pray. Hallelujah. In for sermon, please. It's 12 5. In for sermon, please.
We thank you for your mercies. We thank you because you have been good to us. Blessed be your holy name. Amen. You have made us to see 2021. Your promise also says that we shall not die but live so that we can come to give glory to your name and to your words. Father, we thank you for all this because you are not a man that will lie or the son of man that will repent. We know fully well that everything you said will come to pass. Hence, we thank you. Father, we are about to go into your words. Come and speak to us. Amen. Enable us to do your will. Amen. These are much more we pray Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus as we sit down. Please sit down, please. Um, five minutes have gone out of my 35 minutes. The sermon should end by 12.35. Please just give me any key when it is 12.35, since I cannot write a note to myself that is 30 minutes. So you are going to do the job and give me the key. People of God, if you check your program, the topic is your entrance is not relevant. This is 2021. I don't know your stage, where you are right now financially or physically, but I want to impress unto everyone in this place today does no matter your entrance, no matter what you are today, cannot dictate what you are going to end up. If you believe that and you have hope in Jesus that it will turn your life around and do something new, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you keep your ledger very well, that's always what we do before we start a new year. We call it opening balance. Opening balance. Everyone has opening balance. In one word, I'm saying to you that I don't know what position financially, fiscally, spiritually, I don't know what it is. That is what you brought into 2021. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the Lord will increase you in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever that you lack right now, the Lord will provide for you in the name of Jesus. Let me give you some biblical examples of what I'm talking about. And I want you to listen very well. Because this will enable us. I always use the first three weeks to try to explain to the church where we are going so that we can be in the same, uh, in the same realm of things spiritually. The other day, I spoke about what? Who can remind me what I spoke about? I don't even remember myself. For the ninth virgin. What did we talk about? Okay, all right. I will remind you later. So let me give you some examples of what I'm talking about. If you look at the book of Esther, Mordecai in the book of Esther started as a gate man. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Esther started as a gate man. That was the beginning. That is when we first met, uh, met Mordecai. He was a gate man. But by the end of the story, Mordecai became what? He became a prime minister. People of God, whatever it is, how you enter this year is not how you are going to end in the mighty name of Jesus. Esther was an orphan, slave, a slave in a foreign land. When we first met Esther, but by the end of the day, Esther now become a queen of the day. Shout hallelujah. David was a small shepherd boy when we met him. He was despised by his brother. He did not even know he can do this. That's when we first met David. He was a shepherd. They, they, you know, they even had to wait for him to crown him. I pray with somebody today that because of this service today, the Lord that crowned David as king will crown you as princess and kings in the mighty name of Jesus. Jacob was a deceiver when we first met Jacob. You know this tale very well. I don't have to quote Bible to tell you what David person was. But at the end of the day, we find Jacob, God changed his mind. Every fear that he had, we all have fears. But I want somebody to know that in this year, I started this year, all your fears are worn away in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter what it is, Church, I'm letting you know that you have nothing to be afraid of. 
Because in Isaiah 43, he said, if you are in water, I shall be what? I shall be with you. When you are in the river, I will not let overflow you. He even promised us, when we have journey that is very tough, that no fire will reveal it against us. Let somebody claim that in the mighty name of Jesus. Where you are right now is not the determined factor to where you are going. Church, where we are now as a church is not going to be a determined factor because aya, aya, we are going in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Esther Samuel, I mean Esther Samuel, Samuel chapter 1, when we first met Anna, Samuel 1, 2, Esther, sorry, not Esther, Samuel's mother, whose name is who? Anna, he started with no child. But when we, at the end of the story, Esther now had three more sons and two daughters. I pray with anyone here today who is looking for the fruit of the womb. The Lord that started with Esther, I mean, that, that started with Anna, as you, as you start this year without no child, by the end of this year, you will hand up your own child and children in Jesus' mighty name. My, my sermon today is a sort of uh, letting you know what to pray for and also that we can keep things together. So I'm going to need a lot of amen. Amen? In the book of Acts 9, 17 verse 22, Saul started being blind. He was a sinner. That was a sinner. He was blind. But at the end of the day, we find him, and everybody is now talking about Saul Paul, the greatest evangelist. Now I pray, whatever sin, O oh Lord, we shall be forgiven in the mighty name of Jesus. We all know the story of Joseph. Joseph was a boy. He was despised. They put him in a pit. They sold him as a slave. They put him in jail. And at the end of the day, the Joseph that we are talking about, that's the way we knew him. That's how he started his life. But at the end of the day, Joseph became a minister. I pray whoever has been despised, has been rejected, whatever they are throwing you on about, wherever they have put you down, they will come back to come back for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. The question now is this. What is your present position? What is your present position? What's your present position? Are you a tenant? Just as the angel told the women that he is not here, I pray that by this end of this year, when you are, if you are a tenant, other neighbors will say you are no more here. The Lord will provide your home. In the mighty name of Jesus. No matter the suffering that you have been suffering, now because you are starting this year, no more, uh, as Father will say, no more suffer, suffer. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be drowned in any suffering, Jesus' name. I already quote Isaiah 43 and 3 for you to let you know that God is with you. Maybe you came into this year with a rough road, your destination of settlement. But if you can trust God, your creator, and serve him faithfully, he will change your story in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you going through insult, reproach like Anna? I pray the insult will turn to result in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not be discouraged by your present situation. Do not be discouraged. Maybe you don't have, you are not yet established in this land, and you are worried. But I want to let you know the Lord who did mine and that others will do yours also in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18, 2 Corinthians 4, 18, the Bible says, Why we, why we not look at the things which are seen, but we look at the things which are not seen, for the things which we see now are temporal, but the things we are not seen, they are what? They are eternal. People of God, don't be worried about other people who have things. Yours is coming. He did not forget you in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to quote some, some, some notes. When I was doing my figure from Pastor Rogers, the notes is this. And you can repeat after me. It is not what you say. It's what you do. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. It's not who you are. It's who you can become. It's not yet too late for anyone to change or to achieve. 
Are you ready to achieve? Are, no, I said repeat that. Are you ready to achieve? Are you ready to go to higher? Then what suggestion do I have? What suggestion? As a church, even as a church, what suggestion do we need? Of course, we knew that we have to have faith. Oh, five more minutes. We have to have faith in the Lord. The Bible said in Hebrews 11, 6, without faith you cannot please God. You have to understand that he's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. You have to seek him. You have to be faithful. The first is this. You have to have daily time of focused personal communion with us. Now, one of these days I'm going to be you know, preaching about people who lost focus. Don't let us lose focus. Prayer, thanksgiving, fasting. That is how it was done. There's nobody in the Bible who overcame, if not because by faith, by prayer, and fasting. Number two, daily appropriation of the gospel. Apply the word of God to your life. What did the Lord say? Apply it, appropriation. There's no point knowing, be able to quote and do this and do that, and then you don't do what the Bible says. If we are going to be a high achiever, if we want to move on forward, then we need to change our situation spiritually. Don't let us just come to church and just on Sunday, but Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday, we are something else. God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Number three, firm belief in the sovereignty and love of God. God is sovereign. We always say that God is good. There's nothing that you cannot do. Believe it. Believe it. When you also hear other people's testimony, believe in their testimony. Don't argue about, oh, it's not possible. But when you believe in other people's testimony, your own testimony is coming in the mighty name of Jesus. That's why I want to implore all of you here. When you want to give testimony, give the right testimony that will make people to believe in the God that you are serving. Don't try to put, don't try to do no personal aggrandizement that is, I prayed, that this, I did that. No. What did the Lord do? They asked him, What happened to you? Who did it? They said, Jesus did it. And go and ask him, That's nothing that he can do. So believe in any testimony that you hear. Believe that there's nothing that God cannot do. There's nothing he cannot do. We believe it. So when you hear testimony, let me give you an example. Anytime I'm going to River Oaks, I always pass through Pastor Church Talabi, and I always give God the praise. Father, I thank you because you did something wonderful in here. I'm not going to be jealous because somebody built a church. No. We to thank God, and I believe in that testimony that he did it. So let us know that when something is good for somebody else, be happy with them. Amen? Number four. Daily commitment to God as a living sacrifice. Daily commitment. In Romans 8, chapter 2, it says, I beseech you, dear brethren, that by the mercy of God, your body should be a sacrifice to God. Number, number two, he said, do not conform to this world. James 4, 4 said only, uh, uh, I want to speak Yoruba. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Only if I see all the room, I tell you, you just say that Yoruba. I like a bill of John for this one for what is that's okay. The more you love the world, then an enemy to God. Romans 813. The only thing that God expects from us as a church, don't do it because they are doing it. Where well, wherever you are walking. If you don't take permission from, from, the, from, from your supervisor, don't take the paper that is stealing. Some of us don't know that it's stealing. We, we, all we say is that ah, they are doing it. So, Alabali, and those of you who have businesses, how would you feel if people come to your business and they are taking your paper copies home? Those paper copies are very expensive. They take the heel. How would you feel? The same thing. The same thing. What the Bible tells you to do don't do. He said, do not steal no more. That's what she said. God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. 
people of God, as we go about this year, you know where you are. And I'm going to round up now. You know where you are. You know where you are, your situation. And you know you're not satisfied with where you are right now. I've given you four points that you need to be thinking about that can take you to a higher place. If you have hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, there's nothing that you cannot do. You will accomplish even more than you, are, you think or ask. But what happens is that sometimes we don't, don't lose your year. Don't lose hope. It's a new year. It's a new beginning. And God will do a new thing in your life. For, for today, the sermon, which I want us to preach is that God will do a new thing. So I'm going to just turn it. God wants to do a new thing. If you like, you can put down Isaiah 40. God will do a thing in your life. God is a God of new things. God is a God of new beginning. He said, let there be light, and there was light. It's a new beginning. It's a new thing. He said, I know your name, Jacob. He knows our name. He knows where we are. He knows what we did. Even when you think that God is not working, he's actually working for you. People of God, let's stand up. My time is almost up. We want to thank God uh, for, for his beginning. So as I said earlier, when we come to the house of the Lord, let us face why we are here. Let us face why we are here. Most of these people who started very bad and they end up very well, study them. What did they do? What did they do? What did they do? What did they do? If you want to be a millionaire, you read the book, The Millionaire, so you can be able to be like them. That is what we need to do. So I'm challenging everyone in this place that for this year, it's a new beginning. All things, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, said what? All things shall pass away. You are now a new creation. Let's, let us change from our attitude. Let's change from what we used to do. You have heard those people that started very bad when we first met them. But we too, we want to be a changed person. We don't want to be the same no more. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe that there's nothing that he cannot do. Help one another. Seek the face of God. Give him praise. Give him honor. And everything the Lord says he will do, we do. You have learned in this place, you know, that any blessing that is delayed is not denied. He did not forget you. May the Lord bless the church of God. And as we enter the new year, God shall do a new things in our life. Remember, if you don't have money today or your account is, is down, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord of multiplication will multiply your finances in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray to that person who has been waiting on the Lord for a child, for children, the Lord will do it in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for all the tenants in this place. You will buy your own home in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray those who start this year who are not yet, you are not yet established, the Lord will establish you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for those who are sick. Oh, but from then, from this time, in the mighty name of Jesus, no more sickness in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for those who are knocking the door for one thing or the other. The Lord will open the door. He will shake heaven and heart because of you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord, that as this year is running to an end, by December, we will not say, although it's too long, it will bless up before the end of this year, in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, let's clap for Jesus for the new year, for what he's going to do, and for what he's doing. Glory be to your name, in Jesus' mighty name. My Lord and my God, Father, we just want to thank you again, because you have shown up in this place, we glorify your holy name. Father, we've heard your word that the beginning is not the end and it's not relevant because we know that the Bible said you have a, a good plan for us hey, to bless us and not to harm us. Father, we await, oh Lord, open the gate of heaven and shall with your blessing in the mighty name of Jesus so that those who have been looking down on us, they will be looking up to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, Lord, that we will end well. Boluamu bebe, Olo, Emaka Shubuda, no Lom, Babe di Wamudo, and the Kao Naka Sha Shi Yu, Tibo Ben Kanri, Nyoko Jesu Chris Oluawa.
Church, let's be seated for the church announcement. Calvary, greetings to the church of God. From the senior pastor and the elders, we wish you a very happy new year.